can't tell you how thrilling it is to see an absolutely packed house. Thank you all for coming. Are there any actors here, aspiring actors? Okay, so this one, folks, is especially for you because we're going to have three powerhouse actors on the stage, starting, of course, with actor and producer Alia Bhatt. What do I do with this big pillow? I'm give, give. We'll get rid of it. Folks, can somebody Sorry. grab it? <laughs> Thank you. Do you want a smaller one? Are you comfortable? Yeah, as long as I'm decent. Am I? Yes. Okay. I love you, Alia. Oh. I love you. Thank you. Wow, I'm feeling so... I thought that you were 10-15 people from small. 10-15? Yes. I don't think I, I, I think I'm a little caught off guard. <laughs> Bhopal! Sorry, Bhopal beats Pune. Thane! Anyone from New York? Varanasi! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, guys, we do have to have a conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alia, I want to begin by, first of all, just congratulating you on completing 10 years in the movies. And what a spectacular 2022 you have been having. I mean, two amazing films, Gangu Bhai Katyawadi, RRR, Marriage. Baby, and now your own production house. What is what is your current state of mind? Hmm. <laughs> so actually, nowadays when people congratulate me, I'm like, uh, what are you congratulating me for? <laughs> it's a good problem to have. You know, yeah, like because there's so much. Um, I'm of course extremely grateful. I'm um, uh, also kind of the year started off only in the right. most special way because on the 1st of January is when my husband proposed to me. So when that year began, like when that, the day, the year began with that day, I was like, okay, this year is going to be <laughs> quite something. It's also number six. I am very into numbers and I'm a number six. So I was like, yeah. So I'm like, this is definitely a very unique year. Hone wala hai. But it will be so unique, it will be so I had no... Um, of course, I couldn't predict it, but I'm also right now in that state of mind where I don't want to tempt the universe when, you know, things are going so well. So I'm like touching, dancing, stamping on board because I'm like just all I wish for is um, the year to go by even more smoothly and beautifully. Um, and yeah, I won't say anything more. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, I want to say congratulations on Darlings. I really enjoyed the film. Thank you. And wow, that's a huge plus. You know, I mean, yeah, that's a very big thing. <laughs> no, I really... When you like movies, it's a very <laughs> 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 And I mean that in the best way. It means when, when, when you validate a movie, it genuinely feels quite, quite special. And it's a film like Darlings especially. You know, I want to talk a little bit about your character, Badrunissa. Uh, you know, she's such a... When you start, she's such a naive girl. And she's so... You almost want to protect her from herself, right? And then through this film, there are no spoilers, guys, don't worry. Through the film, she finds her spine, right? Tell me about getting into the head of this girl. Honestly, and I genuinely say this with, uh, I'm not trying to be secretive over here. I, I don't have a process of getting into the head of the character. A lot of it just comes out to me with the writing. So the script was so well written, the character, the beats, the moments were so well fleshed out that I kind of just think about it, imagine it, um, 
try and give it a bit of a face before I reach set. Um, but what I took away from the person personality that Badrunissa is is that she's an eternal optimist. She believes that she can fix things. She believes that th people change, and she's extremely naive and and um, um, innocent. Sometimes to the point where you think she's silly. You yeah. know, like you really want to like shake her and wake her up. Yeah. But I love that 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 optimism in her and. And then, of course, there is a whole shift in her dynamic, which again we will not give so, too many spoilers, so people can enjoy the film. But yeah, that's pretty much how I got into the skin of the character, or got into her head. Oh, I just rely deeply on the writing and just have fun from there. Did anything change because you're also the producer? <laughs> See, on set, I'm an actor. In fact, I was going on set, and I was like. No, no, yeah, you pack too much work in one day. We need time to think. It's a creative medium, and the first lady came and said, "Ma'am, uh, you are the producer. You should not be saying this. Like, you know, we should try and finish work as possible, fast as possible, because we really packed the schedule into 42 days. We finished the film. It was right after the second wave. The whole crew was in a bubble. So stress was high. There was fear that you know a wave could come any time, any time now. And the set was up, and actor dates were an issue, and all those things." But on set, I'm an actor. I, I'm an actor first, and I couldn't think of it any other way. But post the shoot, there's a certain responsibility that I've had to continue, which I didn't have to do earlier with my other films. Where you look at the first cut, you look at the second cut, you look at the third cut. You have to suggest things. Music यहाँ पे ठीक नहीं है. यहाँ पे कुछ ऊपर करो. ये scene थोड़ा लंबा है. इसको काटो. Does this make any sense? Should we add something here? Do we need to accentuate this moment? Then putting together the teaser, the trailer, the song unit, everything—that's something that I've never had to get involved in. But at the end of the day, we're all living up to one vision, and that is the director's vision. Because there can—it's a democracy. But at the end of the day, there can be only one, be one captain of the ship. Otherwise, it's mayhem. Um, and that's what we did. We all tried to live up to Jasmeet's vision and put that together. And um, yeah, here we are, almost like less than a week away from the film. And yeah, I think it's exciting for me because I literally seen the film grow from this little little seed of a script of a draft one to then really taking it through to all the way here. You know, um, I had once uh, I was chatting with Anushka, and and she was uh, producing Filori, but she was also at the same time acting in Sultan. And Sultan is of course was a much bigger film. It was Salman Khan. It was YRF, and Flori had a more limited budget. And both the shoots were in Punjab, and she was going back and forth. And she said to me, "I would go to the YRF set and look around, and say, 'I'm going to take something from here. I'm going to take some bislery waters. <laughs> you know, what can I do to kind of prop up my little film that I'm making?' Did you have any of those moments of like wanting to do whatever it takes to make this good?" Yeah, but you know, Anu, I'm like that as an actor in every film. Hmm. You know, I'm like very like I totally surrender. There are no half measures. No, I'm just that person. I totally surrender to everything, every film, and it literally becomes something that I think of, breathe, sleep with, and I'm I feel very close to everything that I do. Like I f I would feel that way even with a film like Gangubai or Brahmastra or any of the films that I've done in the past. Of course, I've also become way more involved as an actor now. With the years, your confidence also increases, and people want to hear your opinion. And earlier, it was always like giving the opinion with a little bit of like a hesitation, but now it's just a bit more comfortable. So I've always been this person who is like, I'll do anything um, to make sure a film, you know, is good, and that the film schedule doesn't suffer or the film doesn't suffer. And, What's most important is the film because cinema is forever. This is one line that we are constantly chuckling amongst our group. But cinema is forever. No, but you have to. But cinema is forever. So cinema is forever. Really, is like it's a fact. Cinema is forever. Up, ek baar chhap gaya to chhap gaya. You can't do anything about it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean that's just how I am with every film. But now, in fact, Alia, your opinion might matter too much. You're a massive star. How do you handle that? Is there anything to handle? But no, I don't know. But then you're giving an opinion. You know, pata lagi the next person doesn't think it's the right thing. But but you're Alia Bhatt. No, no. But still, I. 
if i'm in a room where i'm feeling something and i'm like do you all feel that way and it's eight against one i'm like okay then i'm the one who's i'm not like oh but my one is the only thing that matters um yeah i <laughs> i'm like yeah of course i have a certain instinct on it and if it's irritating me i'll try and um i'll try and um make my case as strong as possible and try and convince the person as 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 loudly as possible about what i feel and why i feel it is what it is but eventually majority wins you know it's not like i am like my word is the last word in any room um and in fact i don't want to be a part of a room where i'm the only one who's speaking loudly and everybody's listening to me that gets very boring yeah i like a bit of a challenge and i like a bit of a contradiction from time to time and i genuinely don't think the sun shines out of my backside like i think i'm working very hard and i've gotten very lucky in many ways and i i and i'm extremely passionate and i and i'm and i'm so happy to be and so thrilled to be doing what i love going to work every day is not like work you know um but that's it i'm a small piece of the puzzle the puzzle is so much more dense and rich with all the other people making the movie Tell me truthfully, you never have a moment of I'm a massive star. <laughs> huh? <laughs> red carpet? So you want to run away? I want to go home on a red carpet. Kabi me? मतलब you know just I have that moment where I'm um where I'm like okay cool yeah it went well <laughs> it's going well but I never. Speak of it too soon. I also don't. Um, I think it's the way I've been brought up. Like my father said, don't ever be the first member of your own fan club. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's also a very. Those are words to live by. They are words to live by because I don't believe I'm. I'm not indispensable. I'm totally replaceable. I'm not irreplaceable. Um, and yeah, I just need to keep my head on my shoulders. But yeah, I think there are moments where I'm like. Wow, that went well. Like, 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 like when a film like Gangu Bai did the kind of uh, business it did at the box office, and I went to Gaty Galaxy. I remember on the first day, and I had to pop out of my sunroof and do those things that stars do, <laughs> which is like oh, you were doing that. Oh! <laughs> I had to do all of this and do that and do all. Of That's not who I am. I get so embarrassed doing all those things. But I did it, and I enjoyed it, and it was an experience. How fun! Yeah, but I think I have a long way to go. You know what? I was telling her when I did the interview for Gangu Bai that just that background music, that you know, that really robust flamboyant background music, and then a woman walking out yeah. just made me so happy. Yeah. So the fact that you have to put your head out of a sunroof and do this is yeah. just fantastic. I have background music playing in my in my head. <laughs> 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 so, Alia, speaking about your father, I I saw this very interesting conversation you did with Barkha. Yeah. Right. And part of that show was a conversation with your parents. And your dad said, uh, Bhatsab talked about how he had a chat about you with Mr. Bachchan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And he asked Amit ji that, like every other star, is Alia going to peak and burn out? And Amit ji said, no, because she doesn't know. Where it's coming from, and then Bhatsab added that, like life, Alia is mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I want to sort of unpack this a little bit. Does that mean that your talent, and it is a very fierce talent, is it just so ingrained that a performance emerges and you don't really control it? Yeah, I don't. I don't control it, and 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 I genuinely say that. Like I think my endeavor is to be. as present in the moment when the camera is rolling and when i hear action transport 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 that's the endeavor of course it doesn't happen in every take in some takes i'm going to be very aware of my surroundings and and the fact that i'm acting but the endeavor is to constantly cut all of that out and just let the moment lead you which is why it's very hard for me to repeat something that i've done in a take so i i faced this a lot with sanjay sir where he would be like wo jo pehle take mein kiya dusre take mein kiya tha wo milega <laughs> so, like sir kya kya kiya tha i genuinely don't know and i'm not trying to be like 
Oh, I don't know how talented I am. I'm not saying that. Like, I just don't know because sometimes things happen which you can't really control. There are times where I can repeat it also, but most of the time I can't when it's authentic and when it's genuine. And so this craft, it's not that you've uh, found more control over ten years. Is it still as kind of instinctive as it was when you started? Yeah, in fact, I feel it's more instinctive now. And maybe when I started off, I was still relying a lot on um, on. I still rely on my director, but um, I, I, I think there is a certain. Uh, I forgot the question. What was it? Me? Not at all. I, I'm I'm just trying to figure out like. So you get on a set. And it just, you're thinking about it, you, you blocked out everything and this performance just arrives. It's like you're making it sound very like... It's a miracle, no? Yeah, you're making it sound like some, you know, some golden light is emerging from within me or something like that. I don't know how to explain it. It's huh. in the written material and then sometimes it's just like... Like for example, okay, I'm giving you an example from a film from Gangubai because I can't speak about darlings. There yeah. was a scene in Gangubai. I remember when I was um, um, uh, 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 <laughs> speaking to my mother yeah. on the phone, yeah. and that scene was not written. Now all Sir said was, "Ye ti second, ti second bolna hai, aur fir phone kaatna hai." But it was one shot. Yeah. So. You have to cut the phone and and sh so it should be in your body. Now I can't I can't make that up. So I actually really got angry in that moment, and I was really fighting with this imaginary <laughs> operator at the end of the phone. But physically, everything started shaking. My whole body started moving, and even after the shot got cut, I was still shaking. And I couldn't do anything about it because I really surrendered and I just committed to the moment. Now sometimes the the <laughs> yeah sometimes that's amazing, and it was a great scene. Sometimes the shot taking is as such where it's a long take, so you can really commit, and it's all that natural that happens. Sometimes I get stuck when it's like, oh, pick up the moment from here, and after I've said the line, and suddenly I'm saying one line that I said in the beginning, and those moments. I really struggle, so it's not like I'm instinctive in every moment. That's what I'm trying to say: is that I try, and the endeavor is to always just completely surrender. But sometimes I'm just I have to calculate it, and I have to be like, say it with a bit of a softness, or say it with a bit of an intensity, or say it like you don't care, or say like I have to keep maneuvering as per the direction. Right. Um, yeah. But you know, th this is what I also really admire about Ranbir's work: that you can't see the strain. Yeah. You can never see. Um, the puppet strings. Yeah, right? you can't. You just can't. And you can't even see it on set. Yeah, really. Basically, he's totally detached. One moment, and huh. one moment, the next moment, he's like, emo. Like he's so emotional and he's so with it. And I am also like, but where did that come from? He was totally not there. So it's amazing, and I think it's 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 fun also now because then you're just really giving in front of the camera. And you're, Conserving, up. like like Sanjay sir would always say to me, Alia say rehearsal mat karwao, because in rehearsal she gives out everything. You put roll the camera, she'll give it. So don't do rehearsals. Yeah. So what is it like when there are two such fine actors in a marriage? I mean, do you discuss acting and process? Do you critique each other's work? No. Not at all. I have this thing where I come and imitate my day to Ranbir every day. I finish my work and I come home and I say, "Look, this happened, and I did this scene, and then you know I did. I put my legs up on the chair, and I was like this, and then I was like." So he's very like taking it all in, but it's me imitating my day, and then I go have a shower and go to sleep. Like that is my this thing. But it's not like we sit and say, "So how did you play that moment?" And I'm like, "See, in my head, I I went from this emotion to that emotion." And I was calculating point A to point B, and then he's like, "Oh, but when I did that scene there, we did that. None of that happens. Bilkul bhi nahi. We talk about other films, other people's performances, what we enjoy, what we love, music. Uh, that's it. But we don't talk about each other's performances. We see each other's films. 
give thoughts on each film compliment ye wo nice vagera vagera but critical can you be critical of each other's work yeah we can like yeah we can <laughs> <laughs> we can good save <laughs> yeah <laughs> See the thing is, it's very difficult because it's not like I want to dislike his work and he wants to dislike my work. Not. So we will always be on the positive side, and even if it's like something very difficult to say, we won't maybe say it in the moment. But when it's past, and if you know the film is not as good, or the film is great, or the film is medium, that's when we may, we may possibly discuss it with more honesty. Um, but yeah, I think it's important to be open with each other, and sometimes we can be completely biased as well. Um, but i think both of us know that that it's important to be that we be honest with each other otherwise you know yeah. it's very easy to just like yeah not be members of each other's fan clubs too right <laughs> not that hard now <laughs> i mean of course we'll root for each other and be of cheerleaders course. and all of that but of yeah course. i think it's important for us to be like okay that was nice but or see the thing is i don't believe ranbir can ever be bad in a film i, I don't either her. yeah <laughs> I just, I just, I, I definitely can't ever see him be bad at film. But if I have not liked a film of his or not, I can be honest. Sure. Similarly, he can also be honest with me about that. Like, if the film's not worked for him, or a part of the film has worked for him, a part of the film is not, he should be able to be honest with me about that. Yeah, absolutely. I know you probably can't tell us about Heart of Stone. Uh, I can write in the, uh, not about the story. <laughs> what was it like? It was fun. Did you? Were you? Out of your comfort zone, or totally, completely, because here I am in London, which is of course a city that I love a lot. But we were shooting there, and I've never shot in London before, and I didn't take anybody from my team. I went all alone, totally new hair, makeup team, totally new crew, um, no manager, manager. I was literally by myself, and um, I was shooting my first action film, Pregnant. So I'm like, okay, how am I uh, going to maneuver this? How is it going to be safety wise? Will I be able to handle? What if I have a bad day? This etc. So I was totally outside my comfort zone. I was away from my home, and I was missing my poha and my dal chawal and my bed and all of that. But they made it so comfortable for me. They were so 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 warm and so kind. And I'm not just saying this. I genuinely mean it. Like they really went out of their way to make me feel extremely safe, extremely comfortable, and. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, my first Hollywood film. Like, I'm, I, I couldn't have. <laughs> like, I think I had a pinching moment there, being like, I cannot believe I'm shooting my first Hollywood film. Like, it was really, really quite exciting. Like, a lot of firsts, like you said. But this was a very, very big tick off the box. Now, whether I'll do a second, third, fourth, we don't know. But at least it was a first. I also love the idea of one of our finest and leading actors doing an action film while pregnant in Hollywood. Yeah. That's just fantastic. <laughs> so, I, because um, Gal has, you know. Uh, I love it, Gal. <laughs> <laughs> she has done one of her biggest films, Wonder Woman, whilst being pregnant. So yeah. When I called her up and told her, and she was like, oh, lovely, muzzle tough, muzzle tough. This is such a good omen. It's so, I got you, baby, I got you. Like, she's like, I'm going to take care of you. Don't worry about it. And she genuinely did. She kept checking, you're okay. You need to drink water. Are you dehydrated? Are you eating enough? What are you feeling like, etc., etc. And um, yeah, I mean, like, the, the fact that there was that comfort and that ease and that, like, that familiarity of, like, we'll do this, we got this. Yeah. That was great. That was, like, very reassuring. Okay, last question. Yes, please. Round of applause, folks. I, I have one last question for you before we get the team on. This is because I am so dying to see this film. Is Gile Zara with you, Priyanka and Katrina? On, is it on track? It's happening. Of course it's happening. Yes. Um, we go on floor next year. Obviously, we can't go on floor this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but listen, we ain't letting that film go. We are like, we've been fighting for it and we all are too excited and it's going to be quite massive and we can't wait. I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, next time it's going to be me, PC and Kat. We'll be sitting over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right.
right, guys, with that, let's get the other incredible actors in Darlings. Shifali Shah, Vijay Varma, and, and the director, Jasmeet K. Reen. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's been, it's been really long. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we all look different though. Yeah, but just soak in the talent here, folks. <laughs> and one talent is left. And, and he's and not Roshan here. He's not even here. Roshan Bakyu, who's also part of the film, uh, isn't here and he's, he's, he's lovely. I have to begin with you. Yes, uh, this is such a tough story and it has so many tonalities. And yet you, A, where did the story originate? But also, how did you and the co-writer Parvez Sheikh sort of negotiate these tonalities where it's terrifying, some of it really is, uh, but it's also very funny. Yes. That's very hard to do in one film. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to tell a story about this subject uh, because somewhere we have, we know this happens and we are just okay with it. And I don't understand how we are okay with it. And we all are. I mean, I think we, are, we just become complacent. And there was an idea that a mother-daughter are trying to find their place in this world, in a male-dominated world, but also trying to set the daughter's marriage right. And I don't know why, but from that one, in that one line also, I knew that they're going to be whacked out, mother-daughters. Uh, and they're going to find really ajeeb, odd, they're going to make odd plans to make this happen. And I thought about that. I always wanted to direct it, but I wanted to be sure. And then I took it to Parvez and I said, what do you think about this idea? And uh, he said, damn good. I said, I want to direct it. And we started writing. Um, yes, it is very sad, violent, scary, shocking and funny at the same time. Um, that was always the tone of the film. It just, I think this, this genre just emerged from the story. If the story demanded something else, an action or something, or action comedy, I guess we would have written that. But it was, I think, there in the one line and we always set out to write that. You are so good in this film. <laughs> you are so good. Uh, and at the trailer, but at the trailer launch, you said you were afraid of playing Hamza. You said you had to talk to her, like you had to meet her a couple of times yeah. and, and kind of work your way into this role. But why? I mean, you yesterday he was feeling stressed out. After the no, screening. after the screening. Why? Because you're so good. Yeah. <laughs> And convincing. And convincing, yes. I mean, to do it convincingly, you have to A, go to the set every day <laughs> and be this atrocious monster to probably national sweetheart <laughs> and live with that feeling. Yeah. Casting issues. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, when you, when you play very devious characters, yeah. uh, uh, they bring in some kind of a monster with them when you try to like understand them and play them out it leaves you with a certain feeling i'm a human being after all and and also like you never know what comes out of a film like this you know so i mean of course we all uh, want to do roles which are different than each other and i wanted to kind of understand what is it that i can do with hamza which i have not kind of looked at before and we found some interesting things and what the meetings with Jasmeet were primarily to understand how she wants to say the story. The story when I read it, uh, the drama spoke to me more than the comedy parts and I got scared <laughs> and then then she walked me, she talked me about it and she talked what kind of an approach she's looking at, how is she looking at this person and uh, then, then I said, Ki, okay. So I think one of the uh, one of the references that we both kind of spoke about was Christoph Waltz in uh, in uh, in Glorious in Glorious yes. Bastards. Yes. And I remember watching Kumbalangi Nights and Fahad was menacingly. He's fantastic. Incredible in that film, wasn't he? He was fantastic. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So ho yeah, ho <laughs> Loved your character, um, Shamsu Nissa. Uh, um, Shamsu Nissa. Shamsu Nissa. Nissa. <laughs> I, I, I love the, the wisdom of her and the fact that she has experienced and suffered so much and yet is so not willing 
to be a victim, so not willing to let go of life. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember this, but when I did an interview with you and Vidya for Jalsa, Vidya said that the truth is that they're writing much more interesting characters for women rather than men. And I thought of this as I was watching you on screen. Do you agree? Uh, well, they are writing interesting stuff for men, but I think until now it was only for men. Right. So it's kind of getting underlined now that they've they've written. They are. I mean, like Shamshu Nisa, I think she's a cracker of she a is, character. Absolutely. You know, and I thoroughly enjoyed playing, and I'm so glad because she's unabashedly who she is. She may not necessarily be right, but she's not at all ashamed of it. And uh, I think it's interesting because it's not a one-sided character. Also, it's a very interesting dimension to a mother. Yeah. You know, you expect the mother to be mature, to say, "Ke ho jayega, settle ho jaoge, etc., etc." This woman has her own a mind <laughs> of her own. She's on a trip. Yeah. She comes up with the most absurd solutions, which is, I think, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. So. Uh, I I can't I actually can't think of a female character with so much spunk and she's backo she's like really off you know in a good way <laughs> in a very good way yeah. because she's so honest yeah. actually she's, she's saying the thing that you are not supposed to say right yeah. yes but she's saying it yes yeah. she's like like in the trailer she's saying chuhe maani ki dawa khane mein mila de zindagi bhar daru nahi piyega and she means it no she means it she means, she she means, means it. it she said okay theek hai main le aati hu ghar pe padha hai like she actually means it how do you as a director figure out who you're looking at who are you looking at yeah good question hmm. in the wide frame who you're looking at? no so the oh. whole scene yeah all of them firstly uh, it i mean i look at the scene and uh, actually all of them I can't look at one person. जो भी खराब कर रहा है उसको देखते हैं। If anyone stands, if anyone कैसे सुधारूं? If anyone stands out, I guess it's not good, because they all have to be in sync with each other. Yeah. I mean, you prep a lot, right? You prep as a first-time director. You prep, I think, more. I think everybody preps a lot, and you go prepared. You do your scenes in the morning. You make notes in the morning. But when you have thinking actors, you also should be, uh, I think, open to happy accidents yeah. or magic, as, as they say. Yeah. And so you are looking at the whole thing, and if somebody does something. spontaneously different from what you thought you should be open to that and that's so much fun yeah so you look at the whole scene and if you see you see if the comedy lands the emotion lands so i i don't think i've ever looked at one person but are you saying somebody was standing out or not if they were <laughs> then we would retake we should take some instruction <laughs> sorry humne kabhi overacting kiya gaye puch raha hai why are you pointing at me <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> डरते डरते हम ड्राई फ्रूट हो गए किसने किसने तो पिस्ता हो गई किसने किसने पिस्ता हो गया ऑनलाइन यार दैट म्यूजिक या इज फैब इट्स फैब इट्स टू गुड हाउ डिड यू डू इट सो इट इज इट वाज फैब फॉर सी वर्किंग दे दे बोथ दे दे हैव सो मच चाइल्ड लाइक एंथूसियाज्म एंड एनर्जी व्हिच आई डिडंट नो आई हैड मेट विशाल भर विशाल भर द्वार विशाल सर मे बी वंस और ट्वाइस बट गुलजार साहब आई डिडंट नो इट वाज द पेंडेमिक टाइम व्हेन आई मेट हिम सो आई मेट हिम ऑन ज़ूम So firstly they both read the script uh, they connected with the script and that's how they came on board uh, darlings was the first song we cracked uh, vishal ji came up with a tune um which was really very nice and we really connected with it it went with the tone of the film and then we had to have a meeting with gulzar saab they are both very director friendly very film friendly my thing was gulzar saab said that i will write the lyrics and narrate to you so i said narrate to aisa karenge ki bahut mazedar hoga So I'll be listening to that only because he's so good at narrating. Narrating, so I said, okay, hopefully I will love what I hear. And he cracked it in one go. And wow. he narrated these lyrics first. And he said, hey, hey, I mean, hey, darlings, you mad you? I loves you. Please. That's <laughs> how he said. I would love to be in that room. Oh, I would have loved happen. to be in that room. And really? I said, ma'am, uh, he said, you mad you? आपको रखना चाहिए because that is very. And then he started 
and he he just got the tone of the film and the humor so well and you know this darte darte hum drive that it has so many meanings to it kiste kiste pista ho dile dale bole wale bolte rahe ji please please it has so many meanings at so many levels and yet so deep so we were all very excited so he's fab Did you ever go to producer Alia Bhatt and say, "I need this, I need that"? When during shoot? No, any time. I mean, you know. On set, that. she was an actor. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah. Ah. So no demands as such. No, no. We had what we wanted. You're a generous producer. Very. Huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why second guessing? <laughs> She's asking. No, second. like I think sometimes if there's like certain pushing that's required. <laughs> no, I can't give that away, you know. But like, just means like if I need to push, I'll call you <laughs> for yeah. something. Meaning yeah. tightening the screws, times. If something we need, some pushing. Now that's it. We can. We that's we all. Cannot we cannot reveal. Okay. <laughs> some pushing is required. Then she say, I'll call you. But it was actually quite seamless and easy. Yeah. So yeah. Vijay and Shafal, you said this in um, in separate interviews uh, that you now very much want to play. either lead roles or parallel leads and i was just wondering why is that important you know sydney lumet famously said there are no small parts there are only small actors why and and you are both absolutely fantastic actors right there is no question about that uh, why is it important to be a lead uh you know i know thank you for asking me this question because since our last interview uh where i have been saying this and it became suddenly a very important narrative that i put across mm. and i mean as everyone does you think about it and you grow and i hope that's uh, where i want to go is i started thinking to myself that is this even a right narrative yes i don't want to be sidelined of course okay but if i'm going to direct a film I would be greedy to want the best actors in my film. So, what is a lead or a parallel lead? A lead or a parallel lead? Fine. So, this is Zen Master Shifu suddenly appeared on my head, kind of a thing. That's And the I name realized, I gave yeah, Master Shifu. Uh, but I suddenly realized it's somebody who stays with you much longer than anything else. What strikes you and hits you about a film? Unfortunately, until now. other characters and i'm not talking about ott i'm talking about films Theatrical. other characters were treated as uh, uh, fillers they didn't have that like you know the advantage of doing something on ott it's a full fledged character it's so rich like when you see delhi crime every character contributes to making this entire show that doesn't happen in a 2 hour film yaar unfortunately so then they give that whole spotlight to acha ye you know this is the center now i was thinking about it does it show badly on me and i said one minute it doesn't show badly on me if somebody chooses to take me in a film and just put me as a standee on the side i mean i i'm thinking that maybe it's not the right narrative yes i want to be in the center of the film Would I call it a lead or a parallel lead? But like in this film, it's all four of us. It's exactly yeah. I'm it's just all four say, of us. It's not that anybody. In monsoon wedding, yeah. it's the entire ensemble. entire ensemble. Yeah. yeah, you know. So yeah, maybe I'd like to correct. Unfortunately, I don't know how else to put it. Right. You know, I'm saying roles with impact. Absolutely. Yeah. Of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. Of course. You know, like Satya, uh, uh, it was a seven-minute role. Yeah. I'm not saying that she was a lead or a parallel lead, but she was a very important part of that. but unfortunately that's not how the industry looks at it so then i have to step up and say for myself ke bhaiya you know if you're not going to put me there then i'm making that choice of standing up and putting myself in there and this is what i'm going to choose so don't put me on the side i'm not interested you know and thank you thank you and it's not it's not because i love myself it's because i love what i do right yeah it's not coming out of vanity <laughs> not bad ha huh? not bad for you vijay so i am also reminded i remember i spoke to you in the first lockdown and i mentioned this for the first time uttered it outside like how years ago i uttered that i want to be an actor for the first time 
I think two things happened to me. A, I started listening to the people who love my work, and a lot of people felt like I could do more than what I am doing. So I heard them, and I took that decision. Second thing that happened was, I was going to go to the gym for two days. If it's four days or four days, I don't do that. I don't do that at that time. I don't do anything at that time. I do one at one project. I am not worried about everything else. So I am giving everything to even a foreseen role. So why not like use my time and energy to create a better arc and better character. And that was the choice I took and I am thankful that since that interview till date, I have been able to get the roles that I want. Nice. That's great. Nice. <laughs> Shivali, you you just talked about OTT, and I want to I want to get all of you in this conversation because, uh, of course, Darling Z is going to Netflix, right? Um, which is wonderful, and and it's it's a fantastic platform. It will take it out to the world. My concern is more this kind of narrative that's being built that now people will only go to theaters for event movies, right? Ki ab wo jo uh, mid-budget film hai, the you know the the slightly sort of non-epic, non kind of alpha male movies are now not going to get people to come into theaters. So does this necessarily mean that films about women, which are usually not, I'm hoping G Laser R will be, but are usually not massive budgets, are usually you know not like on a scale that is massive. Are, are we just going to have this kind of system where a certain kind of film just doesn't go into theatres, which would be such a loss for all of us. Yeah. Is is that what's going to happen? <laughs> I mean, you just you just See had a film, a theatrical <laughs> film that did what, a hundred crore? Hundred thirty. Hundred thirty. <laughs> facts. Spitting facts. <laughs> right after the third wave. Yeah, see, listen, I think yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we have now become a very fast culture. I mean, by me, it's very quick to state, quick to judge, yeah. quick to write off, quick to wrap up. It'll take that one mid-budget film to come and do well. Like a film like say for when um I remember Badhai Ho came. Yeah. It did the business that it did and everybody was like, okay. Like this is a it's 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 a very unique um, um, plot and it's done such a so then abhi unique plot wali film banate sab log jaake so everybody it takes what one film to kind of change the game a little bit and then you are back in right now I think there's just too much focus on what's going to work in the theater what's not going to work in the theater at the end of the day good films always work in the theater yeah <laughs> it is what it is. So make a good film if you believe in the product and if it's a good film, it will do well. Yeah. Wherever it is, whether it's, whether it's on an OTT platform or whether it's in a theatre, a good film will always do well. Now I'm talking, thinking about the budget and the kind of, you know, um, scale of a film you're talking about. Yeah, maybe uh, there's a certain scale of a film that the theatre will start requiring, but that's the way it's been in the West for a very, very long time. Um, so maybe we're kind of heading there, but we still can't say it's still soon. It's still too soon to tell, in my opinion, and and we just have to kind of wait and watch, mm -hmm. and just try and make a good film from the heart, and people will connect. Yeah, good intentions go a long way. Yeah, I mean, like I'm saying, even a film like KGF, for example, if you if we had discussed this before KGF one came, that a Kannada film would have done. 400 crores at the box office in yeah. Hindi cinema, people would have not bought it. Yeah. But it did now because people bought into the story. So it's not the language or the or the budget or the scale or anything of the film. At the end of the day, if it's a good film and it finds its audience, it'll do well. Yeah. It'll do, it'll get its due. Yeah. Yeah. But speaking of KGF, there's also the rise of the sort of the alpha male hero. Right, uh, the larger than life hero is now back with a vengeance. Uh, as I want to ask the three women here, uh, does that concern you? Because invariably, when those narratives become bigger than everything else, women do get sidelined. 
No, but are people call me Amita Bachchan and Gangu Bai? No power. Yeah, they say four foot ki Amita Bachchan hai, but that's a different thing. <laughs> I'm saying you're talking about larger than life heroism. It doesn't. You can pack it, yeah. package it in a a a, a woman, a, a a transgender character like like Vijay Raj, a man. Yeah. It's the spirit. People True. respond at the end of the day to the writing. You write a moment for a woman like that. It'll get tallies. It'll get claps. It'll get CTs. So larger than life heroism, and I'm not saying this hero as male, but Correct. that heroism, heroic nature, should not leave yeah. the narratives of the films because yeah. that's what we've grown up. We love that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's epic. Alia, last question to you. You said that um, the next ten years, the ambition is to grow the production house, to yeah. grow Eternal Sunshine, to find new voices, to nurture new voices. Uh, when we last talked for Gangubai, you said that the way people can get in touch with you is through Instagram. So there is a full hall here. If there are voices here, of course. How do they reach um, whoever the powers that be at Eternal Sunshine? Well, I think DM at uh, Eternal Sunshine doesn't work. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, we have the lights on. Yeah. Ha ha. So sweet. Oh, lovely gift. Give now. <laughs> I'm not going to forget this. So after this, go on my stories, and I'm going to say for any further inquiries regarding Eternal Sunshine Productions, contact this, 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 this. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, audience questions. They're going to pick out chits, and whoever's name gets called gets to ask. Divya Vinikar. Vinikar? Oh, hi! Hi! That's yes, Divya, no? She's from a film, na? Hi! You're Divya? in a film? Hi! hi. <laughs> That's Divya! Yeah, I know! <laughs> she's in a film! Oh! Yes! She's a cast member! She's a cast member! Yes. She's sitting here with us! Happy birthday to Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh, it's her birthday? It's her birthday? Yeah, somebody just said it's her birthday. Oh. Rohini said it's my birthday, yes. And it's actually, it was yesterday. It's, yeah, it was yesterday. Happy birthday, birthday, birthday to Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so lucky that I got picked in the ah. first go. <laughs> okay, yeah. So my question was to uh, Jasmeet actually. Yes. Um, they say that uh, writers put in their uh, life experiences into their uh, writing. Hmm. I want to know what did you and your co-writer Put into darlings. Mm. Mm. Tricky one, huh? Tricky. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So there are two sides to darlings, obviously. So um, there is a tragedy. I think all of us have, I have at least I have seen women go through what is happening in darlings, the violence that we see, and uh, I think the job of an artist is to make that tragedy beautiful. And enduring and entertaining also. The comic part comes from. See, my family is mad. At funerals, uh, although we are feeling very bad and uh, very sorry, they just crack up. It's a form of stress release. I think it's it happens a lot. And I used to see that humor. It was really funny. And uh, that is dark humor in that sense. They are not. Uh, they are not being insensitive at all. Please, I, I don't mean that at all. But the humor comes from there. So yeah. Uh, so one tends to put all of it in the film and that's where Darlings comes from, I think. Makes sense? Yes, did you pick? Sudhakar Harsh. My question is to Vijay sir. Uh -huh. So, sir, I wanted to ask ki whom you used to, like who was your idol and whom you used to follow to learn acting and also about life lessons. Because my guru, acting guru, he taught me that life is related to acting, like directly. So, whom do you used to follow? Like, who was your idol when you decided to uh, get into acting? Okay, I, I, I think the early, uh, when I went to the film school, one of the first thing that kind of made a very early dent was the works of, uh, of incredible talents of uh, Mr. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. 
and it started to kind of just you start to look at their work and you're like, what are they on and how how are they creating what they're doing? And closer home, I feel I am a big Nasir Saab fan. Right? <laughs> I think he's an institution in himself and his work, early work, especially during the 80s with whatever he created with Benegal Saab or Padanj Peji, uh, I mean Sparsh, Katha, Pastanji, all of those really inspired me and all of this came much later in my life because I grew up in a household where movie watching wasn't really encouraged or allowed. Uh, but for Hamza, we have like a, so he plays an alcoholic in this one. So I had a I had a relative who just like I saw him outside the temples. We had to go and offer like some <laughs> whiskey to some goddess, so, some kind of a ritual. Uh, some ritual in Rajasthan. Uh, she did a little bit of pandit, did that and then gave the this thing. So my relative, he just opened it like it's a half, huh? And he put it like cheap whiskey, put it here and just like talk, 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 and not even an expression change. Like straight face, kept it normal, and it's I can't. I mean, I can't have a sip of that hard liquor, and that gentleman was able to kind of just down it. So I, I mentioned that to just me. Yeah, I loved it <laughs> because we decided we we discussed so much, right? How do you play alcoholic on screen, and you know it can go off, it can go a bit higher than a notch higher than you wanted to, and uh, we kept discussing as to how will you know because when you take that first sip, what do you feel? And yeah. he told me this incident. This is wonderful. This is awesome. We kept it actually. Because he does this every day. So, yeah. Oops. Uh, Dhvani Desai. Hello everyone. And Hello. Uh, I appreciate all of your work. But my question is to Shivali ma'am. Uh, ma'am, so is there any career defining or changing moment like scene wise or movie wise that you think you have or it's an amalgamation of every small or big piece of work that, that you have done? Well, I guess uh, uh, I cannot uh, not give credit where it's due. I've done a lot of work. Uh, I don't, not a lot of work actually. I don't have a long resume, but I, I, I like to believe it's a strong resume. I've been very lucky to be a part of some incredible projects, starting from Satya to Monsoon Wedding to uh, whatever. So obviously all of that has contributed in the respect I've earned in also the learning that it has given me. But if there is one project, I've said this time and again, if there is one thing that changed my life, it's Delhi crime. <laughs> Season 2 coming soon, folks. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Madam Sir is coming back. Soon. Very excited. <laughs> Megha Srinivasan. My question is for all three of the actors. Sorry, just name. Um, I wanted to know if huh? among the characters that you have played, which character would you choose to be to remain forever? Hamza wants to remain forever. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Which character would yeah. you like to remain forever? forever. Yeah. If you had to choose between your own character. Your own oh, character. I've created. <laughs> Shamshu, please, nah. Shamshu. Of course. Shamshu. You, you already yeah. is. Yeah. Shamshu. Yeah, I think Shamshu. Oh, God. Because she already is. Uh, yeah. I've played Shamshu. such terrible people. Oh no! <laughs> Which is having an existential yeah, crisis. Yeah, he's really like it suddenly dawned on him that up kya fayda. Moin was lovely. I can't be with any of them. I've left them. Chhod diya maine. Nahi, but which Moin was lovely. Ah, Moin was lovely. Moin had something. Gully like boy, folks. Wale wale wale. Which one you want to be? Say Madhu. No, none. I don't have an answer. Shania. <laughs> They are picking their favourites. Isha, who is it? Isha! Who is it? It's not out yet, that's why I got confused. Isha. Because <laughs> <laughs> at least I'll be with my Shiva. <laughs> uh, I cannot keep them any longer, but Darlings, coming soon. Thank you 
so much.